Destroy hey the guys, objective. it's Ijo Toxic here, bringing you a 74 and one gameplay with the FAL. And at this time, I was using the target finder and the silencer. This is a a very old video. I don't play like this anymore. Most people would consider this very noobish, but I started using this uh, attachment setup when I, it wasn't popular. It wasn't considered noobish. Target finder was barely used, the FAL was barely used, and I thought it was really good, so I took advantage of it at the time. I'm playing on Yemen Demolition, and my killstreak setups are VSAT, Bloodstar, and VTOL Worship. He's done. I fast forward through my uh, Lodestar and VTOL Worship because it's kind of uh, boring to watch. I, from now on, will not be using any controlled kill streaks or try to stay away from them because they can they just rack up kills and it doesn't seem like it requires that much skill like I said this is a very old gameplay I just wanted to get up there because it was my highest KDR gameplay the 74 KDR so I also have another really good gameplay of pub stomping and I went 124 and 4 but the second half of the uh, game did not record in theater mode. I'm still relying on theater mode. I don't have my uh, PBR. I'm using my friend's PBR at his house to record my theater mode gameplays. So hopefully I can get a PBR and record live so I don't have to deal with this. But if I do happen to find it again, maybe uh, and it'll work, then I'll put it up, because it was a really good gameplay, again using the same gun at Nuketown and Demolition. I'll try to get more uh, gameplays that are, aren't Demolition or Headquarters, because they are very long and tend to have the most uh, high scoring gameplays. And I'll probably play some Hardpoint and uh, Domination, because it definitely is more entertaining, it's not that long. And it definitely requires more skill. I, I'll try maybe to get some, uh, also some flawless free for all gameplay, and definitely still get some more league play, because that's what I love doing. I love competitive. And as most of you know, the FAL is banned from competitive and league play now. So that was a bit of a, a letdown to me, because I used that quite a bit and then I noticed it was very overpowered Enemy so down. I kind of uh, went to the M8 which is also pretty overpowered but not as much so um, so it was kind of a letdown but Mover. then again not that much because you don't have to worry about getting picked off with two shots across the map so <laughs> I believe my first and only death is right here yep so I got a little greedy there, I tried to pick up all three of those guys and didn't notice that they're still spawning up there, but 16 and 1 at the time, and so far should get a lot more kills without any more deaths, so got my kill streak save up the next round, I'm gonna pummel them. <laughs> These kill streaks. Especially the Lone Star is very overpowered, job. Get ready for and the next round. a lot of people will disagree. Demolition. So, uh, throughout the Call of Duty series, they've made uh, the higher the kill streaks a lot harder to get. Like in uh, Call of Duty 4, which is when I started playing Call of Duty, um, the highest kill streak was a seven, and that was for the chopper, and it was. Beast. The thing shot missiles, it shot through ceilings, it was insane. But I noticed that not that many people got it because the community wasn't very big at the time, they weren't as experienced. But once the game has been out for a few months, then the kill streaks start going crazy and everyone is calling out the overpowered kill streaks, and then the next game comes out. And sure enough, the highest kill streak is gonna be a lot higher, or a better kill streak is gonna be a lot higher and harder to get, which I like. I mean, 
has been planted. The lodestar sometimes can be easy to get. It's just really overpowered. <laughs> Unless you shoot it down, which takes three stinger shots or one RPG shot, which is like one in a million. So it's definitely a crazy coaster. That's kind of one of the reasons why I like league play also. The kill streaks, uh, most of the lower ones are knocked out. Like, you can't get a UAV, for example, or uh, a Guardian. That would be annoying for league play. <laughs> so, when league play first started in its first season, and maybe I think it was throughout the fourth season when they finally made the change, maybe the third season. But we used to be able to use shock charges, uh, bouncing Bettys, claymores. It was ridiculous. And <laughs> capture the flag. You could just put shock charges all over the flag and then set up bouncing Bettys. It was crazy. So I'm glad that they're still pulling things straight with uh, the Call of Duty community. Now Treyarch is still keeping league play up to date with all the banned stuff, which I'm kind of still unhappy that they didn't ban the Cap 40 in League Play. Uh, David Vondahar, the, uh, response, his response to that was that they already nerfed it enough that it could still be in League Play, which is ridiculous because everyone knows it's terrible at long range. It's a secondary. That's how it's supposed to be. But close range, it can kill just as just as fast as a shot. Mission so it's pretty ridiculous. Um, and also, how do you guys feel about shocking and uh, competitive? I know a lot of people think it's very annoying, but if you really think about it, shotguns aren't that good in this game. They're not used that much, except for on like small maps like hijacked. Which is also not in league play because now the maps are synced with the MLG maps. So, yeah. But I think the video is wrapping up. So, here's my score on the scoreboard that's coming up. And this has been Ijo Toxic. Peace out.